The next type of field we can implement into our admin panel is the radio button field. So the radio button is typically something which only has, or it is something that only has one answer. You can only choose one option. You don't, you can't do what checkboxes do and select multiple options. So it's pretty straightforward, but I am going to do a different field for that. So you'd probably use a radio button for something like, do you consent? And then you could probably do something like, uh, we'll go radio button there and we will do choices, which will be yes, yes, no, no, maybe, maybe. Okay, so there's three options, but they can only choose one. Now you can do like the checkbox field where they can add another field, but I won't do that right now. And we will then click on update. We'll go to the page and you'll see now we have the option to do yes, no, or maybe if I choose yes and click on update, we just want to receive it. So I'll just refresh it. Oops. Where are we? Go to select fields there. That's the, the ID. Consent equals get field. And then let's just delete the other stuff. PHP echo consent because it's one, only one, it's going to be a string. So it's not going to be an array. So yes, we'll just come up straight away. Um, now, if we go back and you can see there are a couple of other options. You've got uh, allow null, which means that they don't have to choose anything. And then you've got very similar to what we had in the re in the checkboxes field where you can, they can add another option. So if we click on update and go in there, and you'll see now they have the option to add something else. And then click on update. And then it will come up there as well. That's how simple implementing a radio button is.